Good hand animations are essential to the credibility of a virtual character. However, the human hand is a complex tool with many degrees of freedom and putting them in motion with the usual techniques of computer animation is an impractical and labor-intensive task. For instance, forward kinematics animation relies on repetitive adjustments over the joints of a model skeleton. Inverse kinematics eases the animation process, but fingers are still manipulated sequentially with a computer mouse. Motion capture of the hand provides a natural mapping between the animator's motion and that of the considered model. However, it requires expensive hardware that does not fit all users because of variations in hand size or in handedness. We present a novel multi-touch interface dedicated to animation of virtual hands. Our approach exploits the many inputs of multi-touch tablets to animate a virtual hand. For controlling local finger animation, animators perform gestures and grasping motions over the tactile surface. For controlling the global position and orientation of a virtual hand, they move the device in space. This system enables the fast and intuitive control of 16 degrees of freedom of a hand model, all integrated in a single, low-cost device. Our animation interface adapts to all skeleton-based hand models. We add inverse kinematics targets to guide the motion of each finger. An editable Bezier spline defines the trajectory of each fingertip. Bending a finger is a matter of moving the associated target along its trajectory. Appropriate rotational limits enforced at each joint ensures that the hand stays in a plausible configuration. Users control the position of the inverse kinematics targets by moving their fingers along and away from visual sliders displayed on the tablet. Animators have control over the flexion and abduction of the virtual fingers, as well as on the global position and orientation of the virtual hand, for a total of 16 degrees of freedom. Flexion and extension is achieved by moving their own fingers along the sliders on the tablet. The gain between real finger and virtual finger is modulated with respect to the sliding speed so that both fine and broad motions are possible. All fingers can be controlled in parallel by putting the whole hand on the tactile surface. Another possibility is to adjust a single finger at a time by touching the associated slider. Abduction and adduction is achieved by moving the real fingers away from the sliders. Similarly, users can perform whole hand input, single finger input, or even bimanual input. Translating and rotating the virtual hand is achieved by moving the tablet in space. Buttons displayed on the tablet screen allow to lock rotation and or translation so that the device can be set down once the appropriate transformation has been applied. Translations and rotations of the device are amplified before being applied to the hand in order to reduce fatigue and to avoid awkward postures. We differentiate two versions of our animation system, a mobile version and a hybrid desktop version. With the mobile version, the tablet is the sole interface and controls both the fingers and the global hand frame. With the desktop version, the tablet controls the fingers and a computer mouse is used in a traditional manner to move the virtual hand. The user study presented in our paper compares these two versions in terms of performance and user appreciation. Our hand animation system was integrated into the Blender 3D editor. In this character animation scenario, both hands can be animated. By putting a right or left hand on the tablet, the user switches between the two virtual hands. The screen of the tablet provides additional space for UI elements such as widgets and buttons. Here we add controls for creating keyframes and moving in the timeline of the 3D editor. In this example, a complete animation sequence featuring grasping and juggling is realized in under seven minutes.